Hi everybody and welcome to this bonus video from the Diploma in Photography course here with Shaw Academy. You are here as always with myself, William Memes, your educator on the photography course. And in this bonus video, we're going to be having a look at five tips for painting with light. This is a subject that I get asked lots and lots of questions about. So we're going to have a look at a few steps that you will need to take in preparation for a painting with light. But it can be a huge amount of fun if you just follow a couple of very simple guidelines. The very first thing is you are going to need a couple of tools. You are going to need a tripod, of course, for doing a long exposure. You want to get one that's going to take the weight of your camera so if you happen to be doing this on your own and um, that it's not going to be blown over by a strong gust of wind or anything like that but usually with light painting I would recommend that you bring somebody along with you to help you out you're also going to want to use either a cable release or a wireless remote with a locking mechanism so this will allow you to lock the exposure on your bulb mode on your cameras so you set your camera to the bulb mode you press in your shutter button and you can lock it into place using your wireless remote or your cable release and this will allow you to do a, an exposure for as long as you like very very important tool the next thing is you are obviously going to need some light painting brushes okay so these ones are created by a photographer named Jason Page Jason Page P A G E have a look at his website um, and he has created these incredible range of light brushes that you can use for a variety of designs and shapes and so on but it is possible to make these yourself using a clear plastic bottle and with a light shining through it and indeed just wrapping it or with a colored gel as well so you can diy this if you want to do it as well you might also want to try these light painting sticks as well like these pixel sticks p-i-x-e-l and you could go for more abstract types of designs like this and as you can see there you can go for kits with lots and lots of different accessories and attachments for you to try out loads of different designs also I would recommend that you have a look at your camera's manual to see if it has the option as mirror lockup. Mirror lockup will allow you to lock the mirror up into place so that when you are doing a long exposure that when the mirror comes down it reduces the camera shake caused by mirror shock as you can see displayed here on the Canon. So when we're doing a very long exposure it is possible that when the mirror is coming back down after the exposure has finished that it can actually cause a micro vibration so mirror lockup is very very useful in avoiding any type of camera shake at all so putting it all together first of all you will need your tripod your cable or wireless remote these are essential tools to doing this light painting you are want to going to use your mid-range to higher aperture values to reduce the light long enough to lengthen the exposure this will also give you a sharper photograph you also want to keep your ISO very low again this will also increase the length of time that you can use your exposure for it will also mean that you're going to have very little noise in the photograph then you're also going to want to find a location with very little light you're not going to really be able to do this if you are going to a location that has loads of street lights uh, beaming down on top of you because you simply will not get the times that you need that um, to create those light painting trails and then finally you will need to move quite quickly when you are painting as well it might seem like an obvious one but if you take too long with this you are going to appear in the photograph so keep moving and try to keep it as fluid as possible obviously this may take a couple of tries but you have nothing to lose and you can have a huge amount of fun so get out there enjoy yourselves and get light painting Thank you very much for joining me for this bonus video. I'll see you all back for your next lesson in Diploma in Photography.